being from London, it's the, the biggest stadium. So seeing it every single day. I think every kid dreams of playing at Wembley. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's finally here, so yeah, very excited. Six months on from that famous day in the playoff final, you're back at Wembley again. Exciting. Um, you know, some people, they don't get to, to, to play at Wembley um, in their, throughout their whole career, you know, so I'm feeling blessed. Uh, it's very exciting. Um, even just speaking with family and friends, they, they told me how lucky, lucky I am to, to be experiencing this twice, you know, in, in the space of six months. So, yeah, very excited. It's got a beautiful view, beautiful view in here. It was pretty nice waking up to this view this morning. Wembley Stadium, right outside, um, just makes it that little bit more exciting, you know, waking up and I already know I'm playing at Wembley, but to see that there is just uh, even more exciting. It's a massive game. Uh, it's one of the best stadiums in the world. Everybody wants to play there. And like I said, uh, I've been lucky enough to, to play here a few times. Um, whereas a lot of the boys here haven't. Obviously they play in Malta, so it's a bit more, it's a bit different for them. Uh, a bit more difficult to play here. So obviously they're all excited and just uh, hoping that they, they can play. <laughs> Are you Jordan's roommate? Yeah. <laughs> What's he like to room with? Uh, he speaks too much. He's always shouting in the room. <laughs> he doesn't realise he's in the room. You don't realise he's in the room? No, 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 he's quiet. He's, he's in his own space. A nice lad. Playing against, the, I'd say, the best nation in the world right now. Uh, the players they have, um, the squad, the squad is ridiculous, I'd say. Either them or France uh, are the best in the world, you know. So, listen, you, you have to dream big sometimes, you know. Uh, you got to just go out there, give your best. And like I said, it's a game of football. You never know what's going to happen. But at the same time, we, we obviously know how good they are. And uh, we played against them not so long ago. So we know all the qualities they have. Uh, I'm sure we all watch them week in, week out. Well, I know I do, uh, watching the Premier League and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we just got to go out there and uh, ma mainly just enjoy it, you know, it's a massive experience. Favourite shirt? Is there any Arsenal ones? Probably not. Oh, there is. Yeah, it has to be that one. Big Arsenal fan, love Arsenal, probably a bit too much. Ruins my weekend if they don't win, so... I always look to see uh, what Arsenal players have been called up. And, uh, that's why last time we played him, I spoke to James Madison and said to him, if you can get me Saka's shirt, I'll be over the moon. And he sorted it for me, so I thank him for that all the time. You made your international debut in September last year. Could you have envisaged what you've achieved in your career from that moment until now? Probably not. Uh, probably not, you know. Uh, I wasn't playing. Uh, I'd just come back from a big injury, you know, so I always knew it was going to be tough, but I always believed in my ability, you know. Uh, I always knew that um, I would uh, come out on uh, the, the brighter side, you know, and I thought I've got to take this opportunity while I can, uh, go and play some football. And like I said, since I did, did come to Morton and start playing football, I'd like to say my career has only gone up from there, you know. Uh, so I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, and like I said, since then, everything's been good, you know. Uh, I came to Knotts, uh, I've been, been doing well, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, it just makes me feel proud as well at the same time, you know, because I could have given up, but I didn't uh, with the support of all my family and friends. And uh, now they're getting to come and experience all these good things, you know, so I'm, I'm really happy for them. Yeah, that's mad. What's that? Sold out? Yeah. Big day. My great nan, she supported me for, for many, many years. Um, and obviously she, she, she's getting older now, you know. Um, so it's hard for her to get around and stuff like that. Uh, so I would have loved her to come to the game in Malta, but when I spoke with my dad, he just said it's going to be too much, you know. So I just said, yeah, I understand. Uh, it's even hard for her to come to like a Notts County game, you know, it's not, it's not really fair making her travel, travel that far. But like I said, uh, I'm from London myself, my family live in London. Um, so it's easier for them to come to this game, you know, and because it's such a big game as well, it's kind of one you can't miss. So yeah, I probably won't spot her anywhere in the crowd, but 
listen, that, that, that will be what, what, what will make my day the most, seeing her there.